Okay, so last time you saw this thing, I just started. Um, I got the boat off the trailer. It's being worked on. I got a couple little issues with it, fiberglass-wise. But seats are going to come out today. Um, it's because I got to flip it up on its top. So, and uh, here's the trailer. I got the fenders put on. I got the lights put on. I have to do some work on these bunks and I actually physically attach them. Didn't really discover that until after I got the boat off. Whew. Um, I got that roller fixed. It's centered. I had to do a bunch of work on the winch. New strap and move it and everything. Lights. And the safety chain and this little doohickey that holds the hitch on had to fish the lights through you can see on both sides here and I came through a little silicone in this hole uh, yeah so this is just a little quick update see what I did to the back here actually yeah, this one's a little easier these are the west bar lights a little crooked it looks like I did it with the boat on so um, got some steel plate there and welded it on there seemed to work pretty good I got a little bit more welding to do on these fenders they uh, they're a little wobbly and I welded on some support try and stiffen them up and that it seemed to work but I'm gonna do a little more so, so I gotta try and Take these seats off and flip the boat upside down. Do a little bit of fiberglass repair that I didn't notice because it was on the on the trailer, couldn't see it. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I got the engine in. This is the engine. I'll do an unboxing of it. Uh, it is the Predator. It's a 670cc V-twin, 22 horsepower engine. So. Uh, cost me right about $700 after tax and everything. The prices have definitely gone up since I first spec these. So, and your 20% off at Harbor Freight does not count toward it. FYI. I did not read the fine print on that. But that's... So this is the boat flipped up on its top. And there's some image, uh, damage. Right there is leaking water. So we're you know, grind it all out and fix it. And some new gel coat and some new fiberglass. I'm reinforce these edges a little bit. They were cracking and creaking as we were lifting on it. Alright, so I got it sanded down and took the gel coat off around the ish, the area, ground it down to the wood. Uh, it looks like it's an old, old repair that somebody did and it just didn't hold. But I've got it all sanded down on both sides. It's nice and bright out here so I can easily see what I'm doing. But you get an idea of how deep that is. Let's, you can see it better this way. So I'm to refill all that in with fiberglass, and we're gonna gel coat it down. So come down the sides so it can feather and be nice and strong. Got lots to to purchase. Oh, looks like I missed a little spot up here. Somebody repaired a little spot right there in the shadow. So still going. I still got a lot of work to do, but it ended up being a lot bigger of a repair job. I'm sure it goes in there a lot further. This is pretty wet, actually, so we're probably going to wait for it to dry just a little bit. Ah! So, Sophie, you be quiet. So, anyway, um, that's that's Sophie the pug. Uh, she's hearing something in the forest that she doesn't like. Alright, at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm done sanding. 
I got a couple little spots here and there. You can see that. I have a couple little spots. And then just in the gel coat that was chipped and broken and that kind of thing. But um, I've sanded the entire keel there. Uh, we're going to just gel coat the entire bottom of this boat. Mainly because it's a mud boat and where it's going to have some abrasion, you know, forces on it. We just want to build it back up. But uh, as you can see, I took it back more. Um, we did find a little bit more cracking uh, back further. So I took it back a little bit more. I think I want to do is put a little bit of epoxy in there. Because this wood is really soft. This is like balsa wood in here um, and an insulation foam or something but this lip is what I'm worried about so I think that what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of epoxy just along the, the perimeter here and try and help everything hold together um, makes sense in my mind I don't know we'll see uh, what will happen with it and so anyway um, for anybody that's gonna take on a project like this in the future um, I highly recommend if you're doing anything with fiberglass be it sanding, removal, um, you know, polishing, whatever, uh, applying it, that you wear the proper protection, uh, long sleeve shirt, pants, gloves, goggles, respirator. I was wearing a little dust mask, and it's laying over there, um, and some glasses, but I was wearing a t-shirt and pants, and I am all prickly, and uh, I do not like having glass fibers in my skin it's kind of painful and annoying so just a word to the wise if you've never played with fiberglass before uh, it's fibrous glass so it does embed like little needles very small little needles into your skin and it's very annoying best way to get rid of it so i've been told is to take a very cold shower and scrub yeah it didn't work so i'm still very prickly but it's part of the part of the job right so Anyway, stand by for the next part, and we will uh, hopefully start building that part up with some fiberglass and some resin, and uh, start reshaping that front keel. So, all right, stand by for the next part.